In the circuit, we are perform DC to DC buck converter. Now, what is buck converter? Buck converter is a DC to DC step down converter. I am performing a simple buck converter circuit here. Buck converter efficiency is much more higher. For buck converter, we need some FET. Here, I am writing MOSFET here. It is 2N3660. This is a power MOSFET. Now, some registers. Here, a registers. Some capacitors. And capacitor. Some inductor. The capacitor and inductor is must more needed in buck converter. Here is a inductor. Now a short key diode is needed. It is 1N4148. It is a short key diode. And a battery for DC voltage source. Now draw perform the circuit. First DC voltage source battery is placed here. Now I place FET here. The connect battery positive source to the source of the FET and connect drain to the inductor. Now connect the short key dot in reverse bias to the gate and inductor connection between them and positive terminal to the negative of the battery. Now connect a capacitor parallel to the short key diode. Now connect a resistance to the parallel of the capacitor. It is called load resistance. and grounded all the circuit. I put some pulse to the gate terminal of the FET. The pulses voltage I am set here 12 volt. Pulse duty cycle is 50% and pulse frequency is 10 kilohertz. Now source voltage of the battery. here. The source voltage of the battery is now 30 volt. Okay, now I have run the circuit. When I have run the circuit, oh, first a DC voltmeter is connected parallel to the resistor to show what is the output voltage. After that, I run the circuit. When I run it, see here 10 volt is show and input voltage is 30 volt. Buck converter is a device is a much more higher efficiency and 78 series LM31 LM31 IC is a much more high efficiency of those ICs. Now I am making a DC to DC buck converter here. Now first show the supply voltage. Here the supply voltage is 12.43 volt, 12.44 volt. Now I connect the DC to DC buck converter here. This is buck converter is regulate the DC voltage. Here it is a DC to DC buck converter. You can show there is the input port and output port, and one port is here. The number of this module is LN2596 DC to DC buck converter. There is an input line and output line. Input positive negative and output positive negative. There is a one potentiometer, two capacitor, one inductor and buck converter IC. Potentiometer is control the DC output voltage. Now I'm connect input side to the input positive side to the positive terminal of the source and input negative side to the negative terminal of the source. 
when a connection is done you can see an one LED is glowing now I am connect the output positive to the positive probe of the multimeter and output negative to the negative probe of the multimeter and now show the means a multimeter 11.75 voltage is show now I can change the potentiometer to decrease the voltage let's see the multimeter when I am rotate the potentiometer the output voltage is decreasing it is decreased the back converter is decrease the output voltage but when I am use boost converter it is increase the output voltage I am decrease the 12 volt input voltage to the minimum 1.2 volt 1.26 volt when I rotate the clock rotate the pot opposite direction the voltage is increasing back converter is convert DC voltage to source voltage to zero voltage but boost converter convert DC voltage source voltage to the maximum of the source voltage now I am stay thus at 6 voltage now I am stay at 9 voltage when I am stay at 9 voltage if the input voltage source is increases but the output is stay only 9 volt if the input is increased to 20 volt but the output I am need is 9 volt is stay at 9 volt it does not increasing now it is increases increase to 11.75 volt after that I am use it is in mobile charger okay thank you here I am use the back converter to the mobile charger the output of the back converter is now it's 5 volt I am connect the output to the mobile charger so let's see that mobile is charging you can see that mobile is charging now the input voltage of the back converter is 12 volt and output voltage of the back converter is 5 volt and I am connect the mobile data cable to the back converter through USB connection the mobile is charging now let's see another time when I am insert the mobile charger to the mobile and mobile get charging you can show the charging light also here mobile is ready to charging up mobile is charging you can show there is a charging light is on at the top of the mobile when I remove the charger when I remove the charger you can see that more charging light is off thank you